evening guys dan 19792 back again for a quick little mod video or just how i've set stuff up in the front of my uh radian uh the night radian that is um a few things i didn't like about it is one not much space inside the canopy to put stuff i like the uh power board and the switcher board for the lights just flapping around like fucking nothing which i think is pretty useless uh, you don't want bits flapping around inside um, i'm going to be running it on a 2200 milliamp 11 volt battery Florian to be precise and uh, i'll see how it goes not flown it yet not made and it that's to come soon but a quick insight into what i've done inside here uh, first before i carry on when you uh take the elevator in place i worked this out to be i think it was 22 <coughs> centimeters from the tail from the rudder rather to that point and you'll get that as near to the mill as possible for evenness and squareness. And then once you've done that, use your tape that they give you, the crappy little bits of tape, either side, I'm gonna probably flip the camera, either side. Once you've done that, and you've got the tape in place and it's holding everything where you want it, just get a little bit of CA, blob it on there, and then blow it along just so it follows the line and the same little bit at the front and that should stop your tail from wiggling loose if you lose your tape and not only that you haven't put CA all the way through to the other side it's literally just along the lines and it will give it a nice little crust just to hold the tail in nicely other than that I've seen people do mods on it where they've glued the whole thing in problem with that is if you have a stack and you rip the tail you got to sit there cutting loads of glue out or buy a whole new replacement plastics which uh, to me I don't see the point in doing mm. so back to the canopy and um, like I said everything's all flopping about in there mainly to do with the light controller um, so here's what I've done I've double sided the switch onto the side. I cut the heat shrink off of the switcher so that you can reach the switches better. Not only that, I'm going to be putting a remote switch in this so I can change it via the transmitter. And then I double sided the power bit just above the battery. But what I actually done was cut the foam behind it so that it was flat so it'd sit flat and there's the 2200 battery in there nicely plenty of room between the battery and the heat of this because it does get hot i noticed when i was running the lights just trying them out that it got rather warm so what i've done also was took my scalpel and just cut like a a little vent into it literally sort of back of the scalp hole uh, got to be careful or as people call it an exacto knife literally just poke it in not too high and cut, like get a slit in there or even cut it that way around get a slit in there and then cut the rest of the slit out don't touch anything inside just try and keep the tip of the blade in there. Can be a bit difficult if you're not used to cutting stuff out, but well worth getting a bit more heat out of that thing because you don't want heat in the canopy, although you vented, which is a good concept, I like that. But yeah, and there it is. And also, I uh, carved a little groove out in the aerial, uh, in the body, and fed the aerial in just so that it's out of the way and not flapping about as it was and the third screw that you get with it 
Just plant it anywhere along there. I'll put mine there because uh, I've moved all this weight back from the front, which would be sitting there. So I thumped it further forward, and then obviously I got room to move my Batar S to uh, get the CRG. And uh, that way the switch is always in an easy place to reach. Jobs are good, and same with these. You want to sequence the patterns and the colours. They're easier to push without that heat shrink on, I think, anyway. So that's the one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, whatever. I don't really care as long as my video helps out and people enjoy the mods. Same with the Radian XL. There will be more mods to follow, but um, I'm thinking of fibre taping the wings as I normally do, fibre taping the belly just to keep it clean, stop it getting landing rash. Um, also, before I forget, I've not done mine yet, but bedlam tape and bedlam tape, always put bedlam tape or AKA aileron tape along your joins on the rudder, elevator, any aircraft that you do. Uh, always put it on, it's always good on a foam because eventually you do get splits in the uh, foam and you could lose a surface and out of control you go and into the ground. Another quick thing as well, these bits are not glued in, it's literally just bolted through so what I might do is just run a bit of CA into that gap just so that it gives a bit more binding on that. But we'll see. And I'll be adding extensions to the light bulb that's inside so that I can literally just plug them in and then feed them out. So when I remove it, I've not got to try and fiddle about inside trying to plug them in when I want to fly. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me. Take care. See you later.